Well, hello there, my sweet, curvaceous Tobians. It's your boy, them curvy toes. So, full disclosure, guys, I was trying to back up my save last night, um, and <laughs> somehow managed to corrupt the save uh, for this game file. Now, I went into dev mode um, and did the best I could to recreate uh, what I had <laughs> prior to deletion yesterday. Um, so there's probably a bunch of extra and missing crap in storage for me. I will do my best, or I have done my best to not give myself any sort of advantage. Um, I did have a campfire here. Uh, so as you can see, um, tooled around a little bit. Skill points are still exactly the same with one in Sexual Tyrannosaurus, uh, one in Master Chef, one in Minor 69er. <laughs> uh, I popped another one into Strength, and then uh, one in Brawler. Um, I did get a quest after reloading several times um, at the farm across from the traders. However, it is a retrieve the supplies quest instead of a uh, clear zombies quest. Uh, actually, actually, I believe I had a cooking pot in there. So I, I did my best not to give myself any advantage. However, ah, good morning. However, I did give myself a level one padded helmet. I believe I had some armor. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but, oh my god, look at those cankles. Mm. Um, but I did give myself a level one padded helmet with a helmet light mod just to make things a little more viewable for the three of you that have tuned in uh, whilst watching. So, with that out of the way, again, I am sorry. I am surprisingly technologically illiterate for trying to start a YouTube channel. Ah, first customer of the day. But hopefully here, I, I actually have figured out how to back up my saves at this point. Um, I, I did it like an asshole earlier. So again, apologies. I have done my best to recreate it. I uh, have not given myself any advantage that I'm aware of. And hopefully... In the future, we can continue forward now that I know at least that facet of what I'm doing. So, plan for the day is to head to this first quest and see where the day takes us. Hunink. Hunink? Huenink. Ah, hello, a business casual zombie. All right, let's get this quest started and see what we have going on here. Oh, you think you're so sneaky, do you? Another torch will always be nice to shed some light on the subject. Ah, I think I just saw your twin brother outside. Anything on the roof? I should probably craft myself some frames just to err on the side of caution. Tell you what, let's do 15. We wiling out, killing trees. May I recommend you don't try that with the fuse box in your own home. Ooh. Stripper zombie! Alright, let's close this up and let our stamina regenerate. Well, that worked temporarily. All parts! Ooh. I just almost shit my pants. Hello? Ah, uh, parts. I don't believe I do not have any lockpicks. I'll be back for you, Mr. Safe. Oh, this poor lady left her purse there. Emphasis on poor with five dollars. I can't stand no bro, bitch! A pistol in the backpack. Just an average American school student. Well, this would appear to be the main state. Can we stop? with the floor. Ah. Oh, dear God. It would appear they were having an orgy in the restroom. All right, let's wait for our stamina to regen. 
I'm going to pop that there so I don't fall through the floor and actually shit my pants. We'll take this aloe just to heal up those few hit points that we've lost. I don't have any pipes to re repair this. And let's see what we have in here. Those don't sell, so I will scrap it up. I hear an animal in distress, which to me sounds like dinner. Ah, very well. When dinner serves itself. Good to see that the pathfinding is still suboptimal. When I gave myself a helmet light mod and completely forgot to turn it on on the interior. My apologies. And that's them taken care of. Oh, that is the loudest sound known to mankind. Kept you warmer than a well digger's ass. I'm in. Buried supplies I really do enjoy. However, I feel like they might be boring as sin to watch. Can you do me a favor? So instead, you the man. we'll go to the old ranch. I am apparently encumbered. Oh, I forgot to sell him this pistol. Very well. Now I'll have the opportunity to repair it before we sell it. Ah, corn. The backbone of American agriculture. So I did knock out most of the shelving in here. Kind of gave us an open floor plan of sorts. Because why settle for function when you can have fashion as well? Let's repair this pistol so we can sell it later on. Ah, almost doubled in value. Actually, over doubled in value. Math is hard. Pardon me while I punch the absolute shit out of my microphone. Any eggs? Mmm. Protein. More wood. Now, I try not to search anything before I start the quest, because it does respawn everything in the POI, uh, at least within the boundaries of it. And it just feels kind of cheaty and metagaming to me, but perhaps that's personal preference. I even remember to turn the light on this time. Up we go, it would appear. Nine dollars. This lady was big ball and ah, level three. I will pop that point into strength again. So next time we level up, we can get sexual Tyrannosaurus level two. It would appear that I've upset some zombies on the lower level. I will go take care of them so they do not come up and literally bite me in the ass. Very well. I have to say, I very much appreciate the new nurse skin, as opposed to the slutty Halloween costume she was wearing previously. I did not appreciate it enough to let her live, however. Out of stamina. Nothing new there. What the fuck was that sound? That is a twisted, hellish demon. I believe that may be the spider zombie, actually. Which, if I'm not mistaken, they gave a new skin to. Holy shit! That is terrifying. Punch away, little zombie. Punch away. I meant the railing. Not me. Oh, farts. There we go. More wood. Alright, back up into the attic we go. Vitamins. Always a good find, and I will scrap the stone sledgehammer. Parkour. Parkour. As long as we're here, it seems that leather will be in short supply in the short term. So might as well destroy these couches. Oh my. Water. Excellent. I'm quite thirsty. Like that guy at the club. That won't leave you alone. After you've told him eight times. And here we have the White River supplies. Now, I don't believe I have any shoes at this point. Mmm. Kangles. I hear a zombie. Ah. The stripper. That she can run that fast in those heels is mighty impressive. Now, let's see if we can find some food in this kitchen. More water. Chicken soup. Good for the soul. Fuck you, chicken. 
Thank you kindly. It would appear we pulled aggro from the one up in the yard. Be gone, Thop. Be gone. Plenty of cobblestone down here, which will be nice to fortify our base early on. I also have to start thinking about where I'm going to spend the first fortnight on day four. Now, it shouldn't be too hellish, seeing as it's only day four. But this game really does like to bend me over and have its way with my sweet, sweet toes. No parts. I have made a boo-boo. I have rectified the boo-boo. Now, the thing with a fist's only run is that the early game is brutal, to say the least. However, once we start upgrading Brawler, and especially once we start getting some of the Brawler skill magazines, is when this playstyle really does start to shine. More leather is always appreciated. It would appear this is the main stash. And it doesn't even appear to be guarded. How fortuitous. Excellent. A food pile. I said that with a very weird inflection. Level 1 wrench. I will actually keep that. So if and when we happen across the workbench re recipe, we now have the hammer and the wrench that we need to craft it. More wood. Alright, let's scope around the property, make sure there's no goodies we left behind. Huh. Gross. I saw a business zombie and wanted to say hello. However, there were two more other zombies at his feet. Mm. An egg. No egg. Another egg! I am actually going to swing home before we head to the traders. See if we have anything to sell and drop off the over-encumbering items. Well, I might as well sell the trader all of my ammo, seeing as we can't use it at this point. I'm going to repair the pipe baton. And a lead car battery will certainly be good for money early on. An old sandwich, something I generally tend to hold on to in real life. As long as we are making our way past the water ditch, I'm going to ensure that we have enough water to get us through at least today. Not a battery, you dingus. The jars. You dingus. Fuck you, chicken. Now, we'll press right click to fill those up, and we have 11 murky water that we can boil into normal drinkable water at the campfire. Mmm, another egg. Now, with me resetting this trader's inventory due to my ineptitude at backing up my safe, uh, it will be completely different than previous. I have not yet taken a look. So, we will turn in this quest and take a look at what he has. Neither one of these are useful to this particular playstyle, so I will take the ammo as it sells for more. Well, he doesn't appear to have anything of great use to us. Much obliged, stranger. But let's see if he has another quest. Can you help me with my problem? Great. I look well, the tier one buried supplies certainly couldn't hurt. I will do my best to keep it spicy for you all. Ah. Well, I'm glad I ran into that because there are most definitely mines in that ditch that I would have run right over. And that's a fairly embarrassing way to go on day two. Ah, another tree stump with the potential of giving me honey. No honey. Fuck. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I really do love Limp Biscuit. More wood. All right, so let's activate this. Prepare the shovel. And start digging. Ah, excellent. We hit level four. And we have enough points in strength for level two of sexual Tyrannosaurus. After this, we will be specking two points into fortitude to get the brawler up. 
Now, the nice thing about these tier one buried supplies quests is from what I've noticed, they always give you a decent amount of food. And as I said, food is a much hotter commodity in this alpha than I am used to. I should probably dig myself a way out so as not to get trapped down here and torn asunder by the undead. Six and a half hours later. Ah, and there is the buried stash, poking its head out, like Timon from The Lion King, the little meerkat that he is. Actually, I'm not sure if he is a meerkat. Hold on. I just googled it. He is, in fact, a meerkat. I don't know why I'm still digging. Alright, so we have some charred meat and a blueberry pie, both of which I will eat and drink the red tea. And that will summon a fair few zombies. You get a punch. You get a punch. Everyone gets a punch. I will have to check that for honey shortly. There's one dealt with. There's two dealt with. Ah, I seem to have pissed off another woman. Like every time I go on Tinder. Alright, let's see if we can get some honey out of here. Fuck! I didn't bring any leather to repair my gloves. I hope you go down quick, Mr. Zombie. No eggs. Alright. So since it is just about hour 20, I will make my, my way back to the trader, turn in this quest and grab another one for tomorrow morning, and spend the evening trying to fortify the base and not destroy my save file. Mmm. Eggs. I keep forgetting to destroy these nests. So, a note to future them, Kirito's. I am sorry. First aid bandage appears to be the optimal choice here because I keep getting the absolute shit smacked out of me. Well, the 593 meters away buried supplies ben, I'm in trouble. Would you consider is at helping least me? You the the in, direction, in the direction of our base. So that'll be a good one to start in the morning. I have about an hour until nightfall. So... I guess I should knock down some trees to acquire enough wood to build a proper fence around the base. No eggs. Ah! My pops just texted me. Apparently we're going to see the new Matrix movie at 7 o'clock on Thursday. I'm excited. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these street lights give iron and steel. And I would love, especially now that we have a few repair kits on deck, to get a pair of iron knuckles crafted. That is steel. Well, that will be great in uh, probably quite a few days. And these transistors, I believe, give iron as well. It's nighttime. I should probably get inside my base. Single forged iron. Well worth it. Let's see if I can knock this tree down without pissing off every zombie in an 8 mile radius. It appears our operation based in stealth was successful. Time to push my luck. Alright, I have 879 wood. That should be enough to get a perimeter fence started. So, my plan for the evening Oh, these are quite cheap. My plan for the evening is to start setting up a perimeter fence, upgrade it as best as possible, I'll hopefully get another skill point or two, and see where it, the evening takes us. And on that note, I think I'm going to end it there, since this will probably be boring as shit to watch. Thank you again for those of you that are tuned in. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch me punch the shit out of some zombies. As always, please leave a like, subscribe, and in the comments, let me know what your favorite brand of toilet paper is. This is Them Curvy Toes, signing off. Have a great night.